Hey, what's up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. Today, I wanna to show you six tools that will help you get better at accessibility. Three of these are gonna be connected to Chrome itself. They're part of the dev tools. Uh, two of them are extensions you can get at least for Chrome and I think for some of the other browsers, although I haven't looked into it to tell you the truth. And then the third is something that's native to your machine. Let's start by looking at this website. This is my Coding in Public website. There are a couple other Easter eggs uh, that I'll let you play around with if you want to, but I'm going to come to the live projects. These are projects I've done recently on the channel that demand like some kind of landing page or something like that. And uh, let's go ahead, let's jump into this custom accordion component here that clicks down. Uh, you'll notice that on all of these pages, I got this little question mark. And if you click on this, it gives you access to both the code and to the video. So if you're ever interested, you can play around and look down through this and kind of see what's going on. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the Chrome Dev Tools. I've got three tools here. And the first one is something called Lighthouse. You see here, it'll actually scan your page and it'll look for accessibility. Just make sure that's checked. In fact, I'm gonna kill all the rest of these so this will go quick. And we're gonna generate the report. Lighthouse is warming up. And I should mention while we're waiting that there is a, an extension as well that you could have. And here, this is not helpful. I passed all the checks. It's a pretty basic site, so that makes sense. Uh, but if you come in here, you can actually see what it checked for and walk through this. A lot of these like HTML has language or there's a viewport, uh, meta tag, all of these, some of these are connected to actually just building out a site uh, with VS Code. If you hit the bang and tab, then you get a lot of this by default in most code editors with Emmet. Um, but anyhow, so these are some of the things it's checking for. Uh, so that's the first tool. This is helpful, especially for like color contrast, RE labels, basic things like that. But it's, I would say it's a pretty basic accessibility checker. Okay, the next thing is actually something called CSS overview. And let's go to a different page and use this to look around. So let's click on this, how to use Notion as a CMS. This is one that's just finished up on the channel. You can see these cards populating from Notion. Uh, but if I click this capture overview, it'll actually walk me through and show me any issues. Now here I've got some major contrast text issues. So, and if I click on these, it'll actually show me where they're at. So it says it doesn't like that background on with that color of text. So they're all H2s. It looks like all the H2s are the same. Let's see what this one is. All the buttons too, it doesn't like those. Okay, so good to know that white on pink, it doesn't like, and this on this, it doesn't like, and it's not passing either of the checks. So this is another helpful one, especially when it comes to color contrast issues. It'll also show you a bunch of other cool stuff like your font sizes, font weights. And again, you can click on these and actually work through each of them and see where they're at in the DOM. If you have any unused declarations, it'll show you that. So let's look at this. I have seven. Here I have vertical alignment applied to something that is neither inline nor table cell. So that's good to know. Um, and I can play around with that some more. So this used to be an experiment. I did a video on it and now it is in the Chrome DevTools. Now, if you can't find either this or the Lighthouse, you can open up your grab Chrome DevTools and hit Command Shift P and then just search for it. This is a nice little way to enable some of these tabs that may not be enabled by default. While we're here, you'll notice that there is a prefers color scheme, dark, light, reduced. There's all these kinds of stuff. So what I'm gonna do is actually say, let me show the rendering tab, the drawer, and that will give us access to a lot of these things. So for instance, I can come in here and say prefers dark and it should change everything to dark. And I can emulate prefers reduced motion. I can come in here and uh, say I want more or less contrast or custom. Um, so all of these are things that do play into accessibility. Some of them quite severely, like this enables uh, or emulates vision deficiencies, like blurred vision, and it'll actually show you what that could look like. And then you can inspect your site and realize, hey, that it doesn't quite work for most people. So that's another really helpful thing in the rendering tab that was free. That wasn't one of the ones I was gonna show you today. All right, there's a bunch you can do in Chrome, uh, which is why I'm showing you this. Firefox also has really great accessibility support as well. All right, let's come in here. I'm also gonna select this and then look at one other thing. Over here, it's the accessibility panel. And it'll actually walk you through a bunch of really cool stuff. So it walks you through kind of, hey, this is in the main tag. In the main tag, you've got these articles, you've got an image, you've got a heading, you've got a paragraph. So it walks you through kind of the tree of accessibility that people would work through themselves. And uh, then it does walk you through if you have any ARIA labels or anything like that, it'll show a lot of more structural problems with accessibility. So these three tools, Lighthouse, CSS Overview, and this accessibility panel will help you when it comes to color contrast, ARIA labels, structure of the accessibility, and all these are native with Chrome. 
Now, if you don't want to open this up every time and look at your site that way, what you can do is come over here to an extension. This is the fourth thing I'm going to show you. This is called the Visibug. It's by Adam Argyle. And you can click on this little accessibility button. And then you need only hover over things and it'll actually tell you, hey, that doesn't work. And if I had done that, I would have realized that that was the, the case there. There's also a bunch of other cool stuff you can do this. I won't show you everything you can do, but for instance, you can come in here and look at margin. So this tells you 48 margin on the outside. And what is this? I think padding. Yeah, so I'll come in here and it shows me padding, which is kind of cool. Anything I hover over, it'll tell me if it has padding. So that shows me the size of the button padding. Uh, there's also ways you can actually move stuff. So I can actually just take this and like position it wherever I want. Um, and uh, then there's also positioning like Flexbox items where you can actually drag things in order to where they fit within their containers like that. Um, so there's a bunch of cool stuff you can do with this. I won't go into all of it. Um, my only real complaint is that I wish I could, it would show these cards quicker because I can't always remember what they are. But I guess if you use it enough, I mean, you've got keyboard shortcuts, you've got a bunch of stuff that uh, is pretty easy to understand. I just probably don't use it as much as I should. All right, so that's the fourth thing. The fifth thing is something called the Axe uh, Dev Tools. And if I come here, this is another extension. And you just need to download this and add it to Chrome or whatever browser you're using and make sure that it has access, uh, access to the site you're on. So in this case, I've just said anything on the site you can read. You probably don't want to let it have access to all sites, just the ones that you need it for or when you click on the extension as well. And let's head into another one. So let's go into like this tab component example. I'm going to open this up and now look at the Axe Dev Tools. Now there is a pro version that gives you more specific readouts for the keyboard, for the modal dialog, for all these kinds of things. Uh, I'm just going to use the basic scan for right now. And if you wanted to look into the pro features, then I'll leave you to that. You can see here, it says that there are 34 issues that eight of them need review. So here we've got some color contrast issues um, and it, it will show you these or you can click here. Let's see. I think it's right here, the inspector. Yeah, and it'll actually show you the exact thing it's pointing to. Um, but I've also got IDs used in ARIA and labels must be unique. And I think I, if I remember correctly, I kind of just copied and pasted a lot of this. So some of these ARIA labels are the same and they shouldn't be. Uh, like what is HTML right here is the same as what is HTML here, even though this is about HTML and the bottom one is about CSS, but that was just for the speed of the video. So that is one good thing to know. Document should have one main landmark. So there's no main tag anywhere. And so I need to add that in this site if it were to be production ready. And then here it's saying that this H1 is outside of the main landmark. Of course, there is none. So it's walking you through several of these things. And again, it's going to actually point you to each of them, look at the element location itself, allow you to inspect it. You can highlight them and just kind of walk through it and see each of them live. So this Axe Dev Tools is super helpful when it comes to accessibility. All right, so that's five of the six things. The sixth thing is actually something that's native to your machine. I'm just talking about turning on voiceover. Now, this is really important if you're gonna make sure that people could tab through even without watching your site or without being able to see your site and know exactly where they're at on the web page. So on a Mac, it's Command Function F5. Let me turn this on now. Hey, now in custom tab component, Google Chrome Chris. So I can do that now and actually come into here and it's telling me what the link is. 1.1, what is HTML selected? Come back out this way and I can actually look at the tab. Tab. One of four steps to learn HTML tab group. And now it reads off the exact tab I'm on. So I have a sense not only for where I'm at on the page, but where I'm even at in this kind of element grouping. 1.2 HTML page structure tab to a four. You are currently on a tab to a four. To select this option, press control option space. And this is something really helpful when it comes to actually making sure your page is really accessible, especially to those who are using screen readers. Now let me go ahead and turn this off. It's again, command function F5. Voice over off. On Windows, there is something called Narrator. And while I don't have Windows, um, you can see it looks pretty easy to start up. And then I'll also leave a link to this complete guide to Narrator as well. And it's helpful to be able to just kind of tap through pages you're building to make sure that they're easily accessible for those who are using screen readers. Well, I hope these six tabs were helpful for you. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe. And I will catch you next time. Happy coding.